guys, so today's video is a little different than what I've been posting lately. I'm actually going to be diving into some body paint and special effects, kind of like how I used to do back in the day. Um, as you guys can tell, I haven't been doing body painting as much lately. I just haven't had enough time and to be honest, enough motivation for it or inspiration. However, my model here contacted me and she's like, hey, so what you doing? I said, I am not doing anything. And she was like, hey, so why don't we do something? And I'm like, okay, bet, let's do it. So we decided to kind of do these wing like tattoo things i don't know how to explain it but um basically just like devil wings and then angel wings now as you guys can tell this video is going to be a little bit different than just a regular tutorial i'm going to be talking through this video to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience so as you guys can tell i pretty much started off by sketching out the wings using a red eyeliner most preferably a white would be a little bit better so that way you can go ahead and erase if you have any mistakes and then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the devil wing using a red body paint. And this is by Mayron. Yes, the background lights has switched. Uh, I realized very late that I had painted the wings on the wrong side for the alternate lights. So um, we kind of went ahead and fixed that. So what I'm doing now is I'm pretty much just fixing up the wing using a baby wipe, actually. And then I'm going to go ahead with these airbrush paints and start airbrushing the detail in the wings. Now, I'm using Pro Air body paints, and these are actually alcohol-activated paints. Well, not alcohol-activated, but um, alcohol-based. So they're going to stay on the body, and they kind of dry to like a very plasticky finish. So they're great for film work. They're great for like um, Halloween haunts, which is what I use them for. They are great for um, resisting sweat, resisting water, as I've said. They're overall really, really good paints, and I like the opacity behind these because you can build up the color as you want. Now, as you guys can see, I'm doing a mixture of reds, blacks, and all these colors to add depth and dimension. Now, I've done airbrush work before, but I haven't really been as detailed with it, so it's like perfect time to practice with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight with white. Now, as y'all can tell, I'm being very extra with the white, so I have to then go with a brighter red and kind of tone it down a little bit more and just go back and forth between colors. Again, it's my first time doing something so, so detailed like this, so it took me a little bit to kind of figure everything out. My hands are still super duper shaky. I actually have no idea how I'm able to control this, but it, they're still super shaky. I had to go back and forth between a lot of colors and adding depth and dimension, so um, it's also all in how much pressure you put in the airbrush, so you have to be very, very careful with the airbrush guns that you get, um, the compressors that you get, because you need to have a lot of precision when it comes to airbrushing and you have to be very patient with a lot of things. Because the thing is that if you start squirting from really close, the color is going to be very concentrated. And if you spray from very far away, it's going to be very saturated and it's going to be very bland or faded. So you have to have good enough precision. You have to um point your airbrush in a good direction so that all the paint pretty much gets in the area that you want it to get into and it can fill in those spots perfectly without having such a big blotchy mess uh forgive me if i'm talking throughout this video a lot i'm just trying to get this all kind of like within one go just because again this is just me kind of like explaining the process rather than just giving you a full length tutorial so i'm gonna just like talk to it just as is um as y'all can tell i go ham on highlight i always believe that highlights give you the best results like i don't know i feel like a look is not complete without highlighting so like i go ham on it but you can see that i tone it down a little bit later on so now let me catch my breath now we're gonna move on to the angel wings the good angel wings so for that i'm actually grabbing a white face paint with this brush by mayron i'll post it down below and i'm gonna go ahead and start doing these feathery textures and then i'm taking a um another face paint this one's by mayron i believe it's in the shade storm cloud i'm gonna go ahead and fill in that spot just so that we have the background color and then that way i can actually draw in the wings on top and they're a lot more noticeable even though that really suit no purpose because I just covered it up again. But then I'm going to go ahead with a uh, black airbrush paint and I'm actually going to start drawing in between each of the wings. So what I'm doing with the black essentially is just creating 
the kind of like detail and then the structure and shadow mainly the shadow just because i'm gonna go in with highlights later on but i'm also kind of sketching out exactly how the wings are gonna look or the detail that's inside of the wings so i'm also taking the opportunity to kind of again create shadow and create depth and dimension so that way once i go in with my highlight it's a little bit better and it looks a lot more clean and it stands out a little bit better as well again taking into consideration precision and timing and all that now you can see that with the white i'm pretty much just gonna go in and fill in the edges of each of the wings just so that they stand out and they are highlighted a fox is literally laying down she was falling asleep at this point guys she was literally dead as i kid you not falling asleep and you see how that looks so much better once you add the white you add the intricate details and it just looks a lot more cleaner and a lot more crisper and sharper that way I'm gonna go ahead and kind of add a little bit more detail with the black, just a little bit more shadows. Again, keeping into consideration the precision that I take into this and how much pressure I put in the airbrush as well. Now with the white and a small detail brush, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding all the details. By this point, I was already kind of tired of just focusing so much on the wings, so I decided to just bust out the white, start drawing in like all these intricate designs that would make the look a little bit interesting. It kind of sucks to say, but this is like my little cheat way into making something look good when I feel like it's looking blotchy. Was already getting tired. It was like way past midnight by this point. And I just wanted to be done with it. I pretty much just busted out the white and started lining everything to create highlights. I know it's not the best way to go by the end of the day, and I should practice a little bit more. However, this kind of like a good little cheat way if you want something to look good, but you feel like you're running out of time. It just makes everything stand out a little bit better. So yeah, that's pretty much it actually. So that is it for this video. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize for just rumbling through everything. I just wanted to pretty much get it done and get it through just because this video is not really a tutorial. It's more so just like kind of showing you guys the experience of me just trying out new techniques, especially since I started using an airbrush just recently. So I really hope that you guys like this video. I want to give a special shout out to my friend Fox for being my lovely model in this video and for being the one to inspire me to do this as well i love you so much so i really hope to see you guys next time and bye like a little thingy like that yes <laughs> <laughs> yes girl look at you